Hello, this is Gary at Jack Raven Bushcraft. Thank you for watching our video. Uh, this week I'm going to talk a little bit about eating stinging nettles. Stinging nettles, I think in some ways, are probably nature's original superfood, so they are absolutely packed full of uh, vitamins and minerals. So an example, there's twice as much iron in a stinging nettle, um, gram for gram, as you're going to find in spinach. Uh, and also because the nettles contain folic acid, it's actually uh, easier for your body to absorb that iron. So they really are um, good for you. Uh, Nicola and I tend to eat lots of them throughout the course of a year um, in, in lots of different ways. So uh, what I'll do is add a, a link on so that you can take a look at some of the recipes we've got using um, nettles on our website. Now if you were uh, in a bushcraft maybe survivally type situation then essentially just pick the nettle down at the base, snap it off, waft it over a fire, the heat from the fire will get rid of the sting and you can eat them. However, what we tend to do with it, so Nic Nicola and I have got a few patches around here that we go back to you know, on a regular basis. So right through from when these things start poking their head out in, in March-ish, um, through till September, we'll go back and we'll visit the same patches again and again and again. And typically what we'll do is just pick the top um, of the nettles, just the very tips of them. When I'm doing this with groups of people on our forage, I'll often get asked, oh, aren't you getting stung by that? Um, and actually, if you, at the end of a day's foraging, yeah, sure, you do start to get a little bit of a tingle going on in your finger and thumb. Um, but the, the secret is really, you just have to do it as if you mean it. So you're in there, firm pinch, pull and the tip will come off and as I say you know if you do if you do a few dozen of them or I don't typically feel anything from that if I've been doing it for a few hours then yeah I do get that little um, that little tingling. Now when we're picking the tips like this there's a couple of things happening so um, generally with plants you want to eat them before they come into flower so uh, once they flower a lot of the nutrition the sugars and starches are used up in that flowering process and so by picking the very tips of the nettles, what we do is essentially delay that flowering process and at the same time encourage new growth. So it's a bit like deadheading in your, in your garden. And so what we find is by just taking the tips, which as it goes are also the, the most metabolically active part of the plant, um, so the bit where most of the, the um, nutrition is, um, by just picking the tips like that, we're able to go back time and time and time again and, and as I say we've, we've got patches around these woods that we keep going from March right the way through to um, September time. If you haven't eaten nettles I would as I say guys take a look on our blog at some of the recipes give them a try they're really tasty um, and not only that they're really really good for you. I hope that's been of use. Um, I'm hoping to get some more content out on our blog at some point next week. In the meantime, take care, stay safe.